Welcome to Nugget 243 with Stephen Dana Roman, and we're continuing in the same Scientific American, April 2022, and there is another cool article about a tiny part of creation that God has made, and it's science in images, and the images is actually what caught my eye. These pictures are awesome. Beautiful, aren't they? We don't appreciate what God has done. I know I see when I see a saltwater aquarium, I think, wow. But there's so many other things like this. Yes. I know this last summer we were hiking with some friends of ours and the wife and I, we kept stopping to take pictures of mushrooms. And I know you and the husband were getting aggravated with us. (laughs) Well, it was a bit much. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. (laughs) And if you want to go back and see all those beautiful pictures of mushrooms that Bonnie and I took, go back and look at the nuggets that we did on that. It's incredible. God's creation is incredible. They are beautiful. And we were almost doing this, like uh, it says here, when Barry Webb is crawling around on the floor floor with a flashlight. Passers-by understandably give him strange looks. Well, we weren't well, we were on the floor. We weren't crawling on the Y'all forest floor. Y'all were crawling floor. pretty much. And we were in the forest, weren't we? Yes. <laughs> of New England. Forest in Vermont and in New Hampshire. Anyway, the UK-based photographer is hunting for something others might struggle to see. Slime mold growths that stand less than a tenth of an inch high. This guy's got a good camera. Yeah. <laughs> We were just taking pictures with the phone. For scientists, classifying slime molds has proved as slippery as the name suggests. These life forms have previously been labeled plants, fungi, and even animals, but they are actually lesser-known organisms called protists. Okay, well, that goes back to the problem with classification, doesn't it? It sure does. That's the danger of one of these guys trying to wrap us in a pretzel, trying to identify what God says in their system. You can't do that. Well, we don't want to use their term, so we just use after his kind. So this is an example of how they haven't known how to define what these beautiful little things are. Slime molds coat wet and decaying surfaces, including dead trees, leaf litter, and dung, often functioning as a single cell with many nuclei. Just before dying, they send up fruiting bodies to reproduce, which Webb catches on camera. Each of Webb's images consists of 30 to 100 photographs taken with different focal points. When assembled, the composite shows more detail than any one snapshot could. Okay, so that's why he's able to make these incredible pictures. It's a composite of all these pictures. We didn't do that. We just used our phones, and I think we got some incredible pictures. Straight up, yeah. And they're beautiful. They are pretty. And I'm not even going to try to say the names of these four particular ones, but they're absolutely amazing and awesome and i don't care if it's a composite of pictures it's still what they look like true and they're beautiful and that they're what god made and that's all there is to it and uh they have a purpose to be here i wonder what that purpose is but i would assume they eat up what the host is and because these are found on decay they're probably just surviving off of whatever is decaying and yeah. the last sentence is crazy it says this Fisarum, which is number four, these little bitty guys that look like, um, I don't know, they look like some little candies, don't they? <laughs> Couple eyeballs. They have, these Fisarum have even inspired a slime mold algorithm that researchers deployed to map filaments of dark matter connecting galaxies throughout the universe. Well, that's convenient. They see it everywhere, don't they? They do. It's crazy. <laughs> and who can prove any of that? Mm, that's exactly right. All right. Well, thank you.